Hey guys, it's Enan here with Udroid Mania, and today I've got for you a music app that I found in the Play Store. It's free, and I wanted you guys to uh, take a look at it. It's called Jet Audio Plus. I think it's actually pretty nice to replace the stock player if you're looking for something different. Um, it comes with multiple widgets. It's pretty lightweight, easy to use. It's got a lot of options, so it's very configurable. Um, and I think you guys will really enjoy it if you're looking for something different. Um, than your Samsung music player. So let's go ahead. Let's jump right in. It's got tabs along the top You'll notice when you open the app it starts with artists albums songs folders and then playlists um, On this artist view it gives you a list view and you can actually change um, the way that this is displayed here I actually like looking at my uh, artists songs in a Alphabetized list view. It's easy for me to navigate and select the things that I'm looking for all right, and under albums, if you're pretty good, and you keep your metadata pretty clean, your songs will load up under the correct album. So make sure you guys uh, keep that, that pretty nicely and in an order. Changing the album art is pretty easy. Scroll down, select the album that you want to change the art or the cover for, and you'll choose download the album art. And as you can see here, you'll be presented with um, several different covers that you can choose from. So, and I'll try and get this in here. At the bottom, you'll see I've got the name of the album and then the actual artist. And then um, what happens is it'll, it'll search for that and then pull up the covers based on that. And then you just tap the one that you want. And I usually um, look at a couple of them because some of the, the actual um, covers here are better than others. So you'll choose the one that you want by simply tapping on it. It'll ask, do you want to download the selected image to your SD card? I usually say OK, that way it's saved there. And if I'm not connected to Wi-Fi or any of those kinds of things, my album art always shows up. And there, you can see that there. On the Folders tab, this is where any songs that you purchased from, say, like Amazon um, MP3, or uh, if you purchase any songs um, online, this is typically where they show up at, uh, except for Google. If you purchased um, song, your songs from the Google Store, from the Google Play Store, then they don't actually show up and load into that this app automatically. You need to uh, hook your phone up to your computer and do that. Under Playlists, and I don't really have any playlists set up here, but you'll get three options. Your recently added songs, and I actually find that useful because if you um, just purchased a song, and if you're like me and you can't remember titles, this will be a good spot to look because you can click in there and you can see everything that you've just recently added to your phone. Um, if you click on the now playing, if you've got a playlist set up on your phone, it'll be displayed here. And again, you can see um, the songs that are in that current playlist. And lastly, you have quick list. Now, I don't use um, playlists as much, so I'm not really going to go into this, but make sure you guys take a look. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the settings. So if you want to search for a specific song, you can search your SD card or on your phone, sort and select uh, the way that you want your titles to display here. You can shuffle, jump into preferences, which we'll get into in a moment, and then you've got your sound effects and exit. All right, and starting from the top to bottom, the very first thing you'll notice is that you've got your browser here, the player, playback, screen, miscellaneous, and info. In your browser, this is where um, it determines how your music is, how your music covers are shown. So if you want to get rid of that list view, this would be the place that you do that. Um, you click in there and then go ahead and you can actually change that. You can control the album art here and I like to make sure that all my artist um, album arts are actually shown as I'm listening to the different music here. So under player, this is where your music uh, is played when you make it full screen. Um, you can change the background gradient here. I think this is actually a pretty nice option here because if you do add lyrics to your songs, you can actually change the font size here. So I think that's a pretty nice option. I don't have any lyrics in mind, but under playback, now this is where you control how your songs, how your songs switch between tracks. And I use the fade in fade out feature. I like to make sure that everything uh, runs together pretty smoothly, that there's the cross fade. You can set the amount of time that you want to happen there and you can adjust your pitch um, if need be for any of the songs. You can set your fast forward interval and your rewind interval. Both of mine are set to 10 seconds. That's the default, um, but you can control that and be as specific as you like there. Under screen here, you can set your lock screen so this is where you configure what your uh, music player looks like when your screen is locked i use the jet audio lock screen one i think that looks really good i'm going to show that to you guys shortly 
you can control in your notification menu what the actual uh, player looks like in there and you can also set your player to use a full, sc full screen mode whether it's in um, windows or on the lock screen under miscellaneous you can uh, load your album art here you can set your language you can con set your uh, headset override buttons here i don't do a lot of changing there but um, should you want to you could do that um, under changing songs there's some gestures here that you can use flicking left or right to change songs i'll show you that when you're in the player um, you can also flick down to show the now playing list i think that's pretty cool you can post um, the song that you're listening to on Facebook. Some people like to uh, do that for their social media. And if you want to shake, use the shake feature where you can shake your phone to uh, play the next or the previous track, you can also do that from here as well. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of uh, options here and a lot of settings on how you can configure your phone so that you can get the most out of this music player. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at um, the actual music player. And I'm not going to play uh, too many of my songs here because I don't want Google to flag this video. All right, so I'll just go ahead here and select a song so that you guys can see what that looks like. It takes up the full screen, it looks really good. Um, here's the flicking gesture. If you flick to the left, it, move, it plays the next song. You flick to the right, it plays the previous. You've got a lot of options here when you're actually in the songs, in the player as well. You can click on mute and mute the audio. If you click on the next option there, you can control your equalizer. And I'm not actually going to do um, any changes here really because I finally got my equalizer set to the way that I like it. So I think uh, I'll leave that as it is. On the next, you can set your sound effects here. I don't really make any changes here, but you guys can take a look into that if you download this app. Um, I don't, as I mentioned earlier, I don't have any lyrics, but this is where they would show up if I did. Um, I plan on actually adding lyrics at some point to my song. So it's got this timer option. If you want to set up um, to kick off your music, you can go ahead and set how many minutes or how many hours you want it to wait and then click on the start playback option and that'll actually fire up the music player for you. If you'd like to, if you're listening to music and you want the player to stop after a certain amount of time, you can actually go in here, select the number of hours that you want, number of minutes, and then make sure that you've got, that when the timer ends, that the, the playback stops. And then you click on start, and then that'll go ahead and uh, get that going for you. So under settings, you can add the song to your playlist. You can delete it, find the video on YouTube, download the album art, edit the tag, share, search, file info and preferences for this particular song. Um, and then if you click on the up down arrows here, it switches back and forth between the um, balance or the, the volume and the balance here for the speakers. Down to the bottom, you've got the rewind button, the fast forward button, You've got the um, indicator to show you how much of the track has been, been played already and you can jump to a specific location just by sliding that along. Um, here, if you click this button, you're actually gonna be shuffling your tracks. And you've got the previous button there. You click that twice to actually get to your next song, to get to your previous song. And here, you can actually um, Click this button to repeat all songs. There's a couple of options here. Repeat the current song. You can stop the track, stop this, uh, stop the player after this track, and then you can turn off the repeat. So I think that's pretty nice. On the lock screen, if you're playing a song, just show you guys what that looks like. And there you go. You get a full screen lock screen with the title of the song. You get the album art there in the center and then you get your options down here at the bottom to actually control the player. To unlock, you can go back in and it takes you to the full screen version of the player. So I think that's pretty nice. So I'm, as I mentioned, this is a pretty nice app. It's free on the Play Store. You can get it. Um, you can download it. It's called Jet Audio Plus. I actually opted for the paid version after about three days and I think that um, you guys would want to do the same too after trying it.
you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and visit me again soon. If you'd like to see more videos like this or have questions or thoughts, hit me up in the comments below.